Hello friends today let's learn this great way of content visualization which helps in reducing the clutter on your slides and is a great way to present agendas or even the summary slide of a large presentation This slide not only looks good but is also very easy to create in PowerPoint through animation So let's first design the sliders which will appear like a stack of cards Give this white box a shadow so that it appears as if it's stacked over each other. You will see it when we create more sliders and stack it on top of this. Ensure that you group the blue image with the white box so that they move together when they are sliding. Now simply copy paste this box and create as many copies as you want and just keep changing the color of the agenda. Now let's move all these sliders to the left hand side of the slide but it should not go outside the slide and then let's add text within each slider I am using smart art you can use anything else as well Ensure that whatever text or image that you put in each slider you group it with the slider so that it has to move along with the slider when we add the animation this is done now it's time to add the animation to each of these sliders now select the first slider and add the motion path of moving to the right motion paths always start from the center of any image so if we want to move the first slider and we want it to cover the entire slide we need to bring the arrow to the center of the slide and not to the extreme right of the slide Now this sliding needs to happen only when someone clicks so that change we will do we will go to timing and there we will select triggers that this should start only on the trigger of this group 15 15 is nothing but the name given to the agenda 1 box now we also want agenda 1 to move back if someone clicks on it so again we will take animation and select the left motion path Now the arrow of the left motion path should be equal to the arrow of the first motion path only the direction should be different Again this animation should only be triggered on the click of a mouse so we need to again go to triggers and select that this animation should be triggered on the click of group 15 
once this is done then it is very simple just go to animation painter and copy this animation to rest of the sliders and we are done Friends, do try this easy animation in your presentations. It will really change the way you present. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos.